Hi, the purpose of this video is to dissect a mammalian lung so as to reveal the parts attacked by the SARS coronavirus 2 responsible for COVID-19. This video will assist class 7 and 8 pupils and high school biology students to understand the anatomy of the lungs. Science and biology teachers and Bachelor of Science Biology undergraduate students and the general public will find this video quite helpful. I'm Patrick Ndambuki, founder of the Phenom Academy of Life Sciences. I'm a holder of a Bachelor of Science degree with honors in biology and a PGDE holder from the University of Nairobi and a high school teacher for over 18 years. We created this YouTube channel to make the teaching and learning of primary science and high school biology fun through laboratory practicals. Biology KCSE performance clearly indicates that a large proportion of students who leave secondary school education cycle at Form 4 in Kenya do not attain the level mastery of the secondary biology course. Biology performance has been on a downward trend for the last four years. In 2016, only 18% of all KCSE uh, students managed KCSE grade C and above, locking out many students to courses that require decent grades in biology, especially medicine. In 2017, performance plunged even further with allegations that only 10 students managed an A in biology. In 2014, Gesu Lewis Muli of University of Nairobi did a study which revealed that laboratory practicals, practical sessions were the major ingredient of good performance in biology. But most schools lack well-equipped laboratories and hence the disconnect. After adopting this practical approach in teaching biology, I have seen weak students changing their attitude and their measly grades into quality grades. I have produced medical doctors like Dr. Patricia, clinical officers, tens of nurses and biology teachers and many healthcare providers. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that bell because if you are watching this video, I know you are interested in understanding COVID-19 better and in turning misly biology grades to quality grades. And that's all I talk about here in my channel. Let's now see how things work. Lungs are found in the chest cavity. They are enclosed in a double membrane known as the pleural membrane. The space in between these membranes is known as the pleural cavity. It is filled with a pleural fluid, which reduces friction and therefore makes the lungs to move freely in the chest cavity during breathing. Now that is a lobe of the lung. Now that is the pleural membrane, pleural membrane, which encloses the lung. Okay, now that is the lumen of the trachea. The lumen of the trachea, which is made up of C-shaped rings of cartilage. These ensure that lungs do not collapse during breathing. The lumen of the trachea is lined with ciliated epithelium. Now that is the esophagus. That is the esophagus where food passes through. It must not be confused the trachea. Now that is the trachea. That is the trachea. Now that is the point where it branches. Forming now the bronchi. One is bronchus. Now you will need to do an LS. You will need to use a scissor, pair of scissor, cut through, cut through the trachea. We have said that the lumen of the trachea is lined with the ciliated epithelium. The cilia beat in waves and move the mucus. Actually, there is a mucus inside all the air passages. This mucus trap foreign material. The major function of the mucus is to protect the lung through mucociliary clearance 
against foreign particles and chemicals entering the lung. Now, that is the point of branching of the trachea, that is the epithelial. Now, that is the bronchus. Bronchus, and we can view now those lumen, those are now, that's the epithelial. Usually, lung cells produce mucus, which assist air to pass through to the lungs. Now we are going to remove one of the C rings of cartilage. If you have asthma, your airways are always inflamed. They become even more swollen and muscles around the bronchial tubules tighten when something triggers your symptoms. Now that is one of the cartilage, C-shaped, which prevents the lungs from collapsing. Now, diseases like asthma can make these C-shaped rings to collapse. However, if you use an inhaler, they will retain their normal shape. By the time of recording this video, the WHO live update on COVID-19 positive individuals was over 1.4 million with over 82,000 dead. Those who had recovered were about 300,000. In Kenya, COVID-19 positive people were 172 with 6 deaths. Unconfirmed reports indicated that some Kenyan legislators could have tested positive. COVID-19 is caused by a coronavirus, SARS coronavirus 2. Now this is the other branch of the trachea. The bronchus. The bronchus leads to the bronchioles. And finally to the air sacs. SARS coronavirus 2 attacks lung cells which secrete a white foamy stuff. This mucus lines the lung air passages and it prevents dust and pathogens like bacteria and viruses from getting into the lungs. An individual contracts the deadly coronavirus when an infected person coughs or sneezes and the coronavirus lands on the healthy person's mouth or nose and then passes to the lungs. If the virus finds its way to the air sacs and they are attacked, the air sacs inflame and pneumonia results. Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs. Massive corona attack on the air sacs cause formation of a fluid in the air sacs. The bronchus leading up to the bronchioles, up to the air sacs. Pneumonia caused by COVID-19 is severe and tends to affect all the lungs instead of just a small part. Cough results if air sacs fill with fluid or viruses. Now, this is whereby we have the alveoli. Now, you will also need to cut a piece of tissue, meat tissue, that is actually the esophagus, place it in water, you can see it sinks. Now, the lung is floating due to the air sacs. Now, if you press them, you will see now bubbles coming out. Now, check carefully. There is a bubble there. The presence of inflammation and fluid in air sacs obstructs gaseous exchange and results to respiratory failure. The body is thus unable to get enough oxygen from air sacs 
into the blood capillaries lining the air sacs. Carbon-4 oxide can't diffuse from the blood capillaries to the air sacs. The patient, therefore, requires a ventilator. Ventilation is meant to maintain high oxygen levels until the lungs recover. COVID pneumonia shows the following symptoms. Difficult breathing, chest pains, dry cough, coughing occurs due to damaging of the bronchi and bronchioles, irritating the nerves in the air passages, fever and chills, confusion, headache, muscle pains and fatigue. Whether one has these symptoms depends on age and an existing medical condition. There is no treatment so far that can stop people from contracting COVID-19 pneumonia. COVID-19 is preventable through washing hands with soap and running water, using alcohol-based hand sanitizer, keeping social distance of at least 2 meters, avoiding shaking hands, hugging or kissing with people with flu-like symptoms, staying at home and avoiding travel when you have a flu-like symptom, Early detection and treatment can contribute greatly to the survival of the patient. Vaccine. Human trials are yet to begin. However, even if they go on well and a cure is found, there are many global barriers before global immunization is visible. No vaccine yet. Meanwhile, coronavirus promises to infect more Kenyans who do not strictly adhere to Ministry of Health directives. Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe says the worst is yet to come. To get more knowledge on how organs in your body work and more live biology practical sessions, kindly subscribe to the Phenom channel. It's absolutely free. Watch my next video, The Mammalian Digestive System. Thanks for watching.